Well, we are at Steph's favorite body, and it's one of my favorites as well. It's right in the north west eastern corner of the reserve, and it is a beautiful body of water. And Seb has shown us there was some brown-headed parrots, which were the only parrot species that we actually get here. And we'll get back to them now, but isn't that pretty? It's a beautiful little water hole that's developed here, and you find a lot of animals that will come down and drink. It's a great place to check at this time of the day. Often elephants, buffalo, we know the cats do spend time here from time to time as well, so it is a wonderful area to check. Now, Seb, I think our parrots might have flown off, unfortunately. Oh, um, no, there they oh, are. Yeah. So they've just flown away now, unfortunately. So, Spunk, you want to know when is the rainy season and whether it gets very green? Well, the rainy season for us starts in October and then will extend all the way through into late April and that's when we get most of our rains and, and that in will then change and transform this landscape from this barren white dry grass that we see now to lush green grass there'll be flowers there'll be trees with fruits all over them and it will be a very very different scene that we'll get we'll also find water in a lot more areas and so it means that the distribution of animals in the summer months is slightly different to what we see now now in the winter we get animals congregating where there is water because there's very few water sources in summer water is pretty much everywhere and so the animals distribute a lot more but what water does bring is it brings a real big boom in life so we'll get a lot of insects that will come a lot of migratory birds that end up here and the biomass of this area explodes exponentially during the summer months so it really is a great time to be in the bush it's often quite hot and, and a little bit humid and so it's a little uncomfortable but if you can withstand that it is really a spectacular time of the year winter becomes spectacular more for the mammals because they all get driven into into similar locations and that then causes quite a lot of interaction. Now there is one of my favorite birds in front here. It's a beautiful starling that is just posing ever so nicely in the sunlight and look at that that is called a birchless starling and you see the metallic blues and purples that were shining off that body now interestingly enough that bird is actually black in color that light and those colors that you're seeing coming back at us is a trick of the eye it's not actually those colors they don't produce true blue pigments it is a way that the light reflects off the, the structure of the feather as well as the oils on that are from the preening gland and that gives us an iridescent shine back and that's why we pick up these light blues and greens and purples if it was a dark overcast cloudy day we would not see that at all all right it would be a very dull bird it's not like what we're seeing now and isn't that amazing and it seems like it wants to become friends with us now there is a line of elephant dung on the road that has been spread around the, during the day today because what's happened is they've graded the road so they've pulled a tire along just to flatten the roads out for the vehicles and that meant that it spread the elephant dung now that means that it's a perfect opportunity for birds to scavenge on this because as the elephant dung has been pulled apart so it's exposing a whole bunch of different insects that generally would be difficult to get to for the starling and so it's taking advantage of that and it was just working its way along that elephant dung pathway to try and get as much of the food that it can out of there so very very clever bird indeed now there's also tracks for elephants in this area so I'm gonna try and see if I can't follow them I'm gonna just reverse back and see if we can't track them down it seems like they were moving to my northern side here and to my west and so I'm pretty sure we should be able to catch up with them somewhere their tracks look quite fresh from this afternoon 